Hola, soy Lidia, soy la directora y productora de este documental sobre el Camino de Santiago. And we're here in Portland, Oregon, where it is finally sunny. I started out as a pilgrim and will always be one. Back in 2008, I was in between jobs, relationships, and homes, and wasn't sure what my next step should be. Having lived in Barcelona, Spain for about six years, I had always known about the Camino. But it wasn't until I reached this crossroads in my life that I felt this inexplicable calling to go do it. So I did. I walked the entire Camino Frances, and it's changed my life forever. When I was walking and people found out I was a documentary filmmaker, they said, oh, you have to do a documentary on the Camino. And I was like, oh no, 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 I'm not. Because for me, the Camino was so sacred and so magical, I never dreamed that I could do it justice. And when I got back to the States, it just was clear. Just as I was called to do the Camino itself, I really felt called to do this film, that I really didn't have any other choice. It was what I was supposed to be doing. Walking the Camino for me is a wonderful spiritual practice. And I don't think that it's for everyone or everyone should do it. I know it's for me. And this is sort of the main kind of metaphor or message for the film. Like life, there's many ways to do the Camino. And so I really wanted to make a film that would inspire people to find what works for them and to leave the judgment of my way is better than your way. It's really about each of us finding what's best for us. After getting PBS on board and raising just barely enough money for the shoot, including some of my own life savings, I returned exactly a year later with a crew of 12 to follow over a dozen pilgrims as they crossed an entire country on foot walking from St. Jean Pied de Port in France to Santiago de Compostela in Spain. There's been times when I'm just so happy and so fulfilled and so connected and knowing, wow, I'm really doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And then there's been times that I felt so overwhelmed, so scared and so like, what was I thinking? Like, are you insane? What is that? <laughs> this is driving me. Hi. And what was so great was I realized, I was like, oh my God, that's like so much what so many people do when they're on the Camino. They ask those very same questions. I'm still doing my Camino. Arriving in Santiago was far from the end for me. Making this documentary is a part of my journey. We came back with over 300 hours of footage and not a penny left to edit. And so we started fundraising. For the last year and a half, we've been applying to dozens of foundations, uh, contacting corporations, government institutions, religious organizations. And unfortunately, a project like ours, it, it's just so unique, it falls outside of most funding guidelines. It's been really hard just not getting any traction. Frankly, it's been sort of like the Meseta on the Camino. The Meseta is this 100 kilometer stretch of flat, desolate fields that just seems to go on forever. Day after day, mile after mile, nothing seems to change. For a lot of people, the Meseta is really rough. They need their fellow pilgrims to get through it. And it's the help of other pilgrims that are going to get us to the final edit stage. <laughs> On 1-11-2011, we launched our Power of One campaign, which was really about enlisting the help of pilgrims everywhere. And I know many of you watching this have already contributed, and I'm really, truly so grateful from the smallest to the largest donation. It really, every bit helps. I've been doing screenings and fundraisers all over the country, and I've been so moved by the generosity of so many people. 
even those that had never even heard of the Camino before, my friends, family, and especially my Exeter and school year abroad classmates. People have become so supportive of this film and really want to see it finished. I think for a long time in my life, I sort of have, I've been hiding, um, playing it small. And so I've, I've supported other people's dreams and other people's visions. I haven't um, maybe had the courage to step into all of who I am and what I can do. And this time making the documentary, I really feel like I'm doing it. And it's terrifying for me to be in the position of needing other people's support. What I love so much about the Camino is really how the best of being human comes out in people. <laughs> Pilgrims I've never even met have donated from all the way across the world, from Korea, from New Zealand, from Japan. I mean, it's really amazing. And I think people that have done the Camino really understand the power of the cycle of giving and receiving. They believe in the power of the Camino and the good that it can do all over the world. It's my intention that this film inspire people to do whatever their Camino is, to find out really who they are and what makes their heart sing, what fills them with joy, and what makes them feel connected and one. I have a huge expectation. I want to change the world with this film. And I want to get out of the way and really allow the Camino to come through and to be able to touch people millions of miles away. This isn't really my film. It's the Camino's film. It's the Pilgrim's film. It's our film. We will reach our goal, but we need your help. We need pilgrims and individuals like you to get us there. So if you're watching this on our website, you can just donate now and help make this film a reality, to uplift and inspire people all over the world, just as the Camino does. Thank you for watching, and buen camino.